Hello, Lisa. Nice to meet you. Today, we meet vacation home seeker, Lisa. My husband and I, we are definitely looking for a vacation home and what better place than Venice. She's a lobbyist in Washington, D.C. and is looking for a West Coast vacation home to be close to the beach. Wow, wow. She's about to see three amazing vacation homes in Venice, California. Drum roll, please. Which home do you choose? Which of these vacation homes will seal the deal? We are choosing, stay tuned. Hey, I'm Jennifer Farrell. Welcome to the show. We are here today in Venice, California, and I'm going to show Lisa three awesome vacation homes. She's looking for a place for herself, her husband, and their three dogs to get away from the DC winters. My husband and I love to cook, so we're looking for a brilliant, wonderful, well-equipped kitchen. We're looking for an area that's close to the beach so we can walk, ride our bikes, drive, and just a, a feeling of home. What better place than Venice? Will she find the perfect vacation home today? Come along and find out. We're in Venice. Perfect, edgy, fun Venice. Very close to the beach, so we have access to the beach, we have access to the shops, we have access to everything that's fun in Venice. And we're very close to Abbott Kinney, which is the premier location for the shopping and all the trendy restaurants in Venice. This house is amazing. First of all, it is brand new. No one has lived in it, just completed. Three bedrooms, five bathrooms, about 3,300 square feet. And it's architectural. It is very, very, very well done. Hello, Lisa. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Venice, California. Beautiful. It's a beautiful day in a beautiful town. We are right by the beach. You're coming from Washington, D.C. Yes, very cold. Yeah, a little cold there. Always warm and sunny here in Venice. It's beautiful and actually doesn't get too hot like it does in inland California. True. We are here, well, I'm here on behalf of my husband and myself, looking for vacation homes. He's taking care of the animals, our furry loved friends at home, and I wear the pants in the family. So he gave me full authority to buy. Venice is perfect. It's got that old beach town feeling still, since we want to have friends come, and Venice is just, it's just where we've always wanted to come in California. We used to visit here when we were younger. And of course, once you have a beach house, then everybody becomes your friend, so pretty much. We have lots of friends in D.C. who, the minute we buy a house here, will be probably chalking up our entire calendar throughout the year. We're going to see three great vacation homes today here in Venice. I cannot wait. Our budget's about three and a half million. Clearly, it would be great to spend less than that. The first home I'm going to show you is a three bedroom, five bath. It's a multi-story home, brand new construction, about 3,300 square feet. Wow. It's gorgeous. We are very excited. We're in the middle of winter right now. We would love to be able to have a home quickly to move into. Are you ready to see I'm inside? I'm so ready. Thank okay. you so much. Come on in. All right. You walk in the front door and you're greeted by total entertainment space, open living room, dining area, opening up to the kitchen area, and just screened off privately, nicely, cozy with a fireplace before you lead up to the other levels. So as we enter the space, you see that we've got a lot of modern touches. It's brand new architecture. We're walking through concrete floors. We've got the white pine on the ceilings. We have all these beautiful windows here. So you've got your dining, your sitting, and your kitchen all in one area. I love all the natural light. And I, I immediately am drawn to the kitchen, of course, because it looks fantastic. I love the, the countertops. It's just, it's, it's so nice and light. It's been fantastic. I love all the natural wood. I love actually the concrete. It's perfect for dogs. And then, of course, you can stay cozy by the beautiful fireplace. Yeah, it's very cozy, very homey. I like the layout. I love that it's all one room. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. It feels bigger than it is. And you are already eyeing the kitchen. Should we sneak our way over? Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. 
So as we enter this kitchen, you see the materials continue yep. throughout the space. These countertops are from Vidara. They're actually a quartz composite material, even though they look like marble. So they are bulletproof. Great for vacation living when you're cooking and you're right. spilling wine. Yes. We've got the Rift Oak, which I am sure you've noticed around the space. I have, actually. I even noticed it on the, the bar stools. It's a really nice touch, it's isn't it? Very nice. It's very warm, very cool at the same time. Like, it's light and fresh. We've got gourmet appliances here in this house. Kitchen is spectacular. Tons of storage space. So we've got the open shelving in the windows here to give you a lot of airy space. I actually love it and there is plenty of space here and tons of counter space for, for cooking. I bake as well so I could see both my husband and I cooking up a storm and I actually bake cakes as well so having that level of counter space is just fantastic. And something you don't see every day is a glass wall on the back of your kitchen. Exactly. So that's the <laughs> staircase leading up. Well, it's beautiful. we can tiptoe up those stairs to All go right. check out the master suite. I, I can't wait. Come on. Fabulous master suite, great closets, great bathroom, great energy. You have the ensuite area with his and her grand closets. Bathroom area is literally is half the floor. So as we step into the master suite, we're passing our bathroom, which is huge. It has a sauna inside. Oh my. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm sold. We're already <laughs> sold. It's the biggest bathroom I think I've ever seen. As you can see, they've done a very artistic use of the pine wood around here wow. in its bleached natural state. So it's almost as though it's this cubist art piece there in the middle of the space. And then we step into the bedroom proper where we have, of course, this gorgeous wall of retractable <sighs> glass. Oh my. Spectacular. Oh, it's so open, I love it. They've yeah. continued the pine paneling on the ceiling. Skylights everywhere. Yeah, yeah it's just, yeah. we've got the bleached oak floors. We have gorgeous modern windows. We've got a lot of transom window space at the top. So that's letting in all of this natural light and really makes the space glow. They've put a lot of work into planning this house. I can see myself sitting with coffee outside on the deck, just enjoying the morning. Do you Honestly. think your husband would love this space? I, he trusts me completely and I do. He would love it. It's dreamy. <laughs> but I want to keep our thoughts rising because we're going to the rooftop deck. Oh, there's more? There's more. <laughs> wow. The rooftop is very, very special. It has entertaining for all of your friends and anything else that you'd like. And it also has room for a spa. Oh, wow. Oh, oh wow is the right answer. Amazing. Please step out to your amazing view here. <sighs> breathtaking. <laughs> it is. So we are standing on a rooftop deck here in Venice. You can see to downtown. You can see to the beach. This is really a panoramic view. It's beautiful. There's a, a area for a bar, a sitting area, a seating area. It couldn't be nicer. And you know, you really get the feel of Venice from on the deck. It's amazing. The view is stunning. It's three bedrooms. It's five baths, about 3,300 square feet. What do you think the price is? Oh, best guess, three and a half million? That's a perfect guess. It is 3.495. My share of real estate shopping. Well, boy, did you nail that one on the head. <laughs> the price is about midway between what we were considering. You know, we were considering between three and four million. It's 3.5, so it's, it's within range. It's gonna be a hard one to beat, but I have two more amazing homes to show you. Well, uh, it's a challenge. It's I'm a sure challenge. you're up to the challenge. I'm up to the challenge. All right. Ready for home number two? I'm ready for home number two. Let's go. We have two more vacation homes left to see here in beautiful, sunny Venice, California. First, we check out a stunning three-bedroom modern retreat, complete with a spectacular ocean and city view from the rooftop deck. Then we check out this prime three-bedroom contemporary home with a voluminous floor plan ideal for beach living. Will either of these Venice properties be a deal closer? Stay tuned. Welcome back. Hello, Lisa. Nice to meet you. We're on the vacation house hunt in Venice, California with our buyer, Lisa. We have lots of friends in DC who, the minute we buy a house here, will be probably chalking up our entire calendar throughout the year. She's a lobbyist in Washington, DC, and is looking for a West Coast vacation home to be close to the beach. The first home we saw was a luxurious three-bedroom contemporary coastal oasis in the heart of Venice that boasts a decadent master suite. Oh my. Spectacular. The price is about midway between what we were considering. It's within range. Our second home is recently reimagined, 
It's a modern three bedroom architectural retreat with amazing ocean and city views. Could this next house be the one? We're in Venice Beach, which is one of the fastest growing areas in LA. It's traditionally been a very bohemian area in Venice. Abbot Kinney is the most famous area for shopping, dining, lots of really amazing restaurants. You have the boardwalk, of course. So incredible house. At the end of the block, you have the beach, so super close walking distance. It was just remodeled in the last year. Very open floor plan, modern, which is great. That's what today's buyer is looking for. And we have, you know, three bedrooms, four bathrooms, 2,412 square feet, great roof deck with views. You could see the sunset from the roof deck, which is incredible. Hey, so we're here at home number two, Lisa. House number one was spectacular. I'm not convinced you're gonna be able to top it. It was a great house, but so is house number two. This is three bedrooms, it's four bathrooms, it's about 2,400 square feet. It's very cozy. The current owners definitely have an eclectic style. I was a little concerned about the fact that it was on the corner, but the fencing is nice. It provides a lot of privacy. You ready to go in and see it? I am. I'm excited. OK, good. Come on in. So as we step in, you see that we're actually walking through the retractable glass wall. So the architecture here is similar in some ways to the last home, but they're definitely wanting to take advantage of that indoor-outdoor lifestyle. Yeah. So the second you walk in, that's what you're feeling, is that you can't tell where the home ends and begins. Yeah, I like it. Well, it has lots of light, just like the, the first house. Very, very, very nice. We do have a fireplace as we walk in here. We've got the concrete floors. We've got the wood-paneled ceiling. We've got a lot of that white-on-wood mix again. It's very similar. Again, great kitchen, it looks like. Lots of counter space. Very nice. OK, well, let's actually go look at that kitchen as you're peeking at it, come on over. I know, let's move on. <laughs> so beautiful chef's kitchen. You have a walk-in pantry. You also have a beautiful island. The floor plan is really conducive to entertaining in this house. So we step into this galley style kitchen, but of course with the island here, it gives a feeling of openness. They have a couple of different cabinet materials. They've got the quartz countertops deep sink, very polished, very clean modernism here. And it, yeah. the kitchen is very nice, very, uh, lots of counter space, lots of cabinet space. So, no, I like it so far. The kitchen's nice. I'm a fan probably of the, the, early, the first kitchen a little bit more, but this still has lots of counter space, still very nice, it's modern. So as we enter this master suite, the bathroom is unique because they're using a vintage clawfoot tub in a very modern space. So we talked about a little bit of character that comes with a home that isn't just a brand new house. Right. And then we step into this master bedroom where we have the very high ceilings yes. with the transom window and the wall of glass. They've done a really interesting job of frosting just the bottom half so you have privacy, yet you've got great views, so you get sort of that tree line feel here. Yeah, no, actually I really like it. Lots of white wood feel again. It's a really nice combination. So it gives you sort of that coastal vibe. They've gone to a lot of effort to have nice window dressings mm -hmm. to add a little more privacy to the room. The master's very nice. Lovely window dressings. Very nice high ceilings. Again, the white, the wood. Very, very, very nice. Do you think your husband would like this space? I do. I think he'd like both. So it sounds like they're they're both in contention. They are. Right they're now. both for the moment they're in contention with each other. We'll Fair see enough. about the third one. Well, before we go to the third one, let's go look at the rooftop deck because there's one rooftop. here too. Wow. Okay. Come on. Fantastic. The roof deck is one of the highlights. We have a barbecue for entertaining. There's a place where if you want to have a dinner party, it's really nice. Twilight is really special. So we've walked past the first level of this rooftop deck. It's actually a two-level deck, which is a unique feature. This great little sitting area here is one of two. So we've got the covered area, we've got this open air spot, and of course we can see the Pacific Ocean. Right in front of us. Right Beautiful in front of view. us. Yes. Uh, the rooftop was stunning. Two different areas, very nice, beautiful nursery sort of area. Just so nice, so beautiful and warm, and there's a view straight to the ocean. That's where I'd spend all of my time. I could imagine you and your husband sitting right there at the open bar, looking at the ocean, watching the sunset. And the fact that you can see the ocean right there is, is, is quite a bonus, I have to say. So this home, three bedrooms, four bathrooms, great rooftop deck, and of course, a view of the ocean. Right. No. So what do you think this home is worth? Uh, I'll put a guess, 
a little bit less than the other, maybe 3.2. Boy, you are good. This home is $3.125 million. Okay, okay. So it's actually less than you said, okay. but you're very, very close. The price is more reasonable for us. It's closer to what our original goal was. So the first home, a little larger, a little more expensive. This one, a little smaller, view of the ocean. Yeah. Are you ready to see home number three? I am, I am. I thought one couldn't be topped, but this, this rooftop got me swayed. Well, don't decide yet, because okay. house number three is gonna knock your socks off. All right, let's go. There's only one more vacation home left to see in Venice, California. The last home is a unique and versatile three bedroom home. This prime Venice location is just steps to plenty of shops and restaurants. Could this last address be the one to impress? Stay tuned. Welcome back. We've seen two amazing vacation homes so far in Venice, California. The first home was a luxurious three-bedroom contemporary masterpiece in the heart of Venice's architect row, complete with a gourmet kitchen and a decadent master suite. The second home was a stunning three-bedroom retreat with modern floor plan and stunning ocean views. Our final home is a contemporary three-bedroom residence that offers a voluminous floor plan ideal for indoor-outdoor beach living. Will this last address be the one? We're in Venice. I'm just a bit north of both Horizon and Venice Way. This house is fantastic. It is typical Venice in its feel. Very cool, very contemporary, huge high ceilings, volume. It's, it's very livable. There are three bedrooms and five bathrooms, over 3,700 square feet. You have the beach, you have all the trendy shops. This is such an exciting location. Well, here we are at home number three. Now this is our largest home. It's 3,700 square feet, still three bedrooms, five baths. We are right off of Rose Avenue here in Venice and Rose is one of the hot streets in town. So many great cafes, restaurants, bars, and a straight shot to the beach. This is a really, really nice quiet neighborhood. I have to say I like that. So are you ready to go inside house number three? I'm ready, I'm excited. Okay, come on in. All right, we are taking a quick stop along the way because I know this doesn't look like the entire house, does it? No, it doesn't. That's because this is a separate guest suite. Oh, it no. is really a home unto itself. So this has a kitchen, it's got seating, it's got sleeping, it's got its private bathroom. You could part-time rent this out, you could rent it full-time, or you could just keep it for guests. So it gives you a lot of versatility for a vacation home. That's nice and actually would allow longer term stays with friends and families. I didn't realize before we came that it had its own casita. Um, that would be very convenient when you have friends or family that want to stay longer. <laughs> so I just wanted to take a peek at this and now let's go to the main house. Great. So as we step into the great room, the first thing you notice, of course, is all the light and the space that's here. This has really high ceilings. We have retractable glass walls. We've got open floor plan here. That wall of glass, of course, letting in so much light. And then they've done a really interesting staying combination where we've got a deeper tone in the woods than we had at the last home. Yeah. So this is more of a rich mocha taupe. And that gives you a little more of an earthy feel in this space. Yeah, it's a little bit warmer. Oh, beautiful space, beautiful light, very high vaulted ceilings. I actually really like it. The tones, they were warmer. Wow, wow. it is wow. You, I like that a lot compared to the other houses. Well, this space certainly gives you plenty of entertaining areas. We've got a great yeah. dining area, yeah. a really lovely sitting area, and of course, a kitchen that is an entertainer's paradise. Seriously, that is the most stunning kitchen we've come across. Well, then let's go over there. Wow. The kitchen is absolutely a chef's kitchen. Has everything that anyone who really loves to cook could, could want. So this is definitely a professional chef kitchen. Yes, I would say so. <laughs> we have a huge island with our Caesar stone countertops. We've got the Sub-Zero appliances, the Miele appliances. This kitchen really says, I cook here. Yeah, and I am a chef. I can imagine cooking up a storm and my husband too and baking cakes in here. It's fantastic. There's a ton of counter space. So here we are in our sunlit master suite. This space, again, 
is open and airy. It has its own little courtyard balcony out here. So they're taking advantage of these little nooks to give you that outdoor feeling. Oh the closet is huge. It's enormous. And then the bath suite, of course, is very big. Yes. It's got extra shower space, great soaking tub. So a lot of room in this master suite. What's very nice, the closet is enormous. The bathroom is very nice as well. Not as much sort of individual touches as the first and second house have. Um, still very nice, very expansive, plenty of room. With this particular home, it is the biggest at 3,700 square feet. Yeah. It still has three bedrooms, five baths, and because it has its own whole guest house, yes. it gives some opportunity that the other two don't. Yes, this is true. But what do you think the price is? Mm, if I had to guess, three nine? Well, actually, you're a little high. It's $3.7 million. Oh, okay. Well, that's not as high as I thought it would be. It is a little more than your budget, but you are getting more home. Probably a little more than we wanted to spend, but still within our range. I and mean, we did give a range $3 million to four. So. so we have seen three very interesting modern homes today. Yes. Each one with its own spirit and each one at a different price point. So there's a lot to think about. Yes. And my brain is working right now. I want your brain to work away. If you need to talk to your husband, feel free to give him a call, but I'm gonna leave you for a few minutes because I really want you to think about this. Yes. It's a huge decision. Yes, and I definitely need to talk to him first. Okay, give him a call. I'm gonna step out and when I come back, it's time for the big decision. <sighs> a lot of pressure. No pressure. <laughs> We've seen all three Venice vacation homes, and when we come back, well, you've talked with your husband, you've had time to think. Lisa will make the big decision. Which home do you choose? Drum roll. Stay tuned. Welcome back. We've seen all three Venice vacation homes. They all spectacular houses. Hi. It's time for Lisa to make the big decision. So Jennifer did an amazing job showing us three houses. They're all spectacular in their own way, but I definitely, we need to chat and sort of get on the same page if possible. So first house, beautiful, closer to the beach, a little bit less privacy, newer construction. House number one was fantastic. I loved the light. I loved how open it was. It lacked privacy a little bit. So that's the first house. The second house, very similar. Very, very lovely. They have an extraordinary rooftop deck that you would go crazy for. View of the beach right there. You can see the water. The second one is on a busier corner, but there is a lot of privacy to it. So lots of uh, fencing that does make it a lot more private. The third house is the largest and in a quieter neighborhood away from the beach. And it's very large. It has its own casita, so it's sort of contained. Um, so we could do possibly some rental. The third house, which we're in now, again, beautiful, different neighborhood, totally different feel, bigger, but not as much detail to architecture. I know what my thoughts are. Can I hear yours? Because obviously this is a huge decision. Are you, are you sure? Okay, which one? One, two, or three? That's what I thought you'd say. <laughs> he had sort of made his choice, and I'm glad that we're on the same page because it would have been a bit of a battle. I would have won, but... <laughs> I'll uh, give you a call after we're done doing business here. Well, what have you been up to, Lisa? I had a long discussion with my husband and we are on the same page, thankfully. All of these homes were so interesting and had their own character. Well, you've talked with your husband, you've had time to think. Drum roll. Drum roll, please. Which home do you choose? We are choosing number two. <gasps> House number two. Yes. Okay. Yes. The one with the extra character. The extra character, it's, and I have to say that that rooftop and the view of the the water beaming on them, there's nothing more soothing than that for me. It was an easy sell. They were all within our budget. So for us, I think it was more of what felt most comfortable and personable to us. Well, then my work is done. Let's call the agent and make an offer. Fantastic, thank you so much. My husband is on the phone right now, calling everybody, inviting them. So we'll be coming, as soon as we can close that deal, we'll be coming here. Lisa found just the right vacation home here in Venice for herself and her husband. Tune in next time and we'll see you then.